Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Morals in Minutes. Allah Almighty states in the Holy Quran, eat of the good things which we have provided for you. He has forbidden you only the dead animal and blood and the flesh of swine and that which is slaughtered as a sacrifice for other than Allah. The Quran states for us to eat of the tayyibat, pure things. Islam guides every human being to what is of benefit both to the soul and the body. Halal food is part of this program that accelerates our well-being both physically and mentally. The main focus on halal is drawn towards the meat we eat. The Quran stresses upon it and as human beings we have to understand that the modes and types of consumption of meats have an effect on our body and immune system. The types of food fit for consumption are mentioned in the Quran with the halal method of slaughter at the forefront. This method is to ensure that there is a maximum drainage of blood from the animal's body. Allah has prescribed this due to care for the human body. The blood in meat makes it more susceptible to decomposition and it carries the toxins, germs and bacteria that may cause sickness. Eating that which Allah has prescribed for us ensures that we are safe from the harmful effects of all that we may be ignorant to. The saying, you are what you eat, is a saying that when scrutinized holds true. Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, has said that human beings are born to live long. However, they shorten their lives themselves. If the human being was to follow the dictates of Islam, plus not overindulge in excessive eating and drinking, which is condemned in the Quran, he will enjoy a healthier and longer life. Both our deeds and our eating habits have an effect on our youthfulness and our lives. Eating healthily and abstaining from the haram will keep us looking younger, Another thing stressed by Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him. It is of a surety that we ruin our bodies through not adhering to the Islamic code of conduct. That's the end of today's moral. See you next time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.